It's just a lot of brave quotes. <laughs> what beast did I eat? Pretty slower. patties. Pretty patties. Do you know what pretty patties are? I know what pretty patties are. You're going, Is that another like, euphemism from vagina? Pretty, pretty I don't know how to do any accent. Well, the pretty patties Other episode has a... Uh, a fish no. that's Scottish for some reason, and he says they remind me of home. And he lifts his kilt, they and he's got blood on him. Yeah. Yes, they remind me <laughs> of great home. Great joke. Oh. Look, I got under my kilt. <laughs> look look <laughs> at like, him. Yes, yes, dude. Bro. So, and I'm gonna clear the record uh, yeah. for okay. first members. I got so many messages. It was like your kilt was on backwards, and I was like, for hardcore mini golf. I don't know. Blame wardrobe. <laughs> Hey, like, yeah, you know what? Hey, you know what? But uh, at least yours was on backwards. My entire ass was out, and no one told me about it. Wait, what? I had the fucking tutu. Yeah, and I a goddamn it was intentional, tutu. Fiona. No, I, I didn't I'm care. Sorry. I didn't want my ass out. <laughs> Anyways, they literally halfway in the shoot, they were like, "Oh, could you put these shorts on? You're showing too much." And I'm like, "Halfway? <laughs> we just filmed half." <laughs> I thought no it was just part of the to... outfit. I mean, it's like, you know, <laughs> I, I didn't know I, what I, character I'll be you're honest, going for. I'll be honest, it, it wasn't bad. It's just like it's it's like a leotard. It's at it's ass cheeks, whatever. It's not a big fucking deal. But I was mm -hmm. just like, oh man, you guys are noticing this halfway through that you don't want that. That's crazy. Um, my ass was well, on too. It was hard. Great tell. feedback. I'll you know, be honest. Hours ago. Yeah, I'll be honest. You know, yeah, it would have been great feedback. But hey, now my ass is out. And you know we got there eventually. And you I know was what? Just, it, happened. it was gonna happen at some point, and now it's here. So I, I was just bummed that me finding your lost bottle of Fireball got cut. <laughs> yeah, why did, <laughs> did that? It? That was so funny when that happened. Did you lose one? She, oh, oh yeah, she I got it there. Did you misplace it? Well, she got trashed. It was misplaced. That's true. But like, Heard. yeah, I no. was just drinking, and it's you know it's hard because you have to drop the. I was dropping the flask to actually play golf and while you know I would just get drunker and drunker each hole. So right. I would drop the flask because I'm about to do my golf thing and then I did the whole thing and I would just forget. You know, yeah, you, you, the you came, cards for you came yeah. off the course. I came and off you, I, I mean I, I just, fully went home. Oh yeah. Well I mean <laughs> before, before that. You oh. you came off the course and I was like, how did it go? And you're like, I lost my flask. <laughs> like, I don't know where it is. I don't even Yes. <laughs> well, and I then, lost it. And so then Matt and I were going through, and we get to a hole, and it's just sitting there in the dirt. <laughs> so I tried to make a bit out of it, and I was like, "Oh, what's this?" And I pick it up, and then I just open it up, and I'm like, "Yeah, uh, it's whiskey." It's like, whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did they keep that? I don't That's know. so funny. That's amazing. Oh lord. Now. Chad, did you like research anything for your character? It was no. just like Scottish man, got I, it. I, <laughs> like I just, I was just like, I want to do a Scottish golfer, which is the reason my hair is so insane right now, is because <laughs> I had, I had missed a haircut because a meeting got scheduled, so I canceled it. Then Jack was like, "Hey, do you want to be on hardcore mini golf?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then I thought about what character I want to do. I was like, "Oh, I'll do like a Scottish golfer." I was like, "Let me grow my hair out," because it was like, a, like probably like a couple months until we did that production. And so I was like, "I'll grow my hair out because it's like kind of whole like Braveheart feel." Mm -hmm. and then like the second that production wrapped it was like quarantine and so now i'm like well now i can't like go get my right. haircut and so right. this is so now this is where we're at it's Except just it's, part, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah i got the bravest apart i scheduled um my first haircut since i mean quarantine really like tomorrow so Ooh. we'll see how that goes i was Jeremy? growing a mullet so it's mine's next week. gone yeah. <laughs> it's to be gone yeah my next well, appointment's next week oh yeah. uh, right makes sense makes sense <laughs> i've started cutting my own hair in quarantine so far it's worked well for me i can cut bangs and trim my hair and that's all i need moving, good. it's staying on jeremy i love that you're jeremy. Just staying here. are we trying to watch his hair grow is that what we're doing like where are we at it was a time <laughs> yeah the time I when say, I would do this and there was hair there and I was like, whoa, look at whoa. it. Jeremy, <laughs> I don't know if it's too much to ask, but have you always had that thick of a beard, though? No. Because I feel like it's kind of reverse. Now you have a like super thick beard. Like, I can't see through it. You've got a very like. It's where it went. It's, it's where like, it went. Well, I've also just yeah. like stopped caring. So it really got kind of fluffed up. Oh, I like it. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you can do, yeah. yeah, you do the like, hmm. The but Disney I, like cat move where they go. Mm. Well, the thing, <laughs> I can I do condition it a lot too, so that's really I want it to be soft because yeah. otherwise cat yeah. yells at me. Well, yeah, because it's when it's prickly, <laughs> it's not fun, right? Yeah, I it's mean not at fun. least for not for cat. I'm not for cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. It's like I hate that. Yeah, There's this cactus coming at me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's been uh, this cactus. Yeah, I mean you know it's it's gonna be weird. I haven't you know I haven't been in a salon for a bit, so we'll see. I'm just like, I'm growing a goddamn mullet, guys. 
Let's see it. I love it. Yeah, it is pretty long in the I back. I love all the molds are growing. But Fiona, you got that look. nice It looks wow. good, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like Fiona us. can do the, um, what, Sunset Overdrive quaff? Yeah, it looks good. Has, like, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sunset? I just, it, it's a lot of hair. The swoop is, is in it's the front looks lot. really it looks good. Fierce. Yeah. Yeah. It looks fierce. It looks fierce. That's the best way. I don't know. It's a very... 90s slash early 2000s skater vibe okay if i may yeah. that's probably yeah. why i I'm like digging it. it yeah the skater boy. <laughs> yeah she, she, she said that you're like a boy that's got, boy. that's got chad written all over it <laughs> i was gonna say chad's a skater boy am i wrong chad's a full skater right. you're the skater boy i am mm -hmm. uh fun fact yeah. when i used to work at blockbuster they wanted all of us to have nicknames on our name tags and um that song had come out recently and uh one of my managers <laughs> was like uh, you're not even gonna get to pick yours. This is just yours, and so and it's she's it was skater too. with an oh, H block. and a B O I. Oh, what a time! Yep, the I knew it. Oh, it has to be. It nice. has to be B O I. Oh, I yeah, 100%. yes. The amount of customers <laughs> that would then be like, a "Skater boy said she like sing oh. me parts of that song." I was just like, "Oh my god!" I just um, I yeah, hate every second of this. Might have been me, Chad. You, I might have been checking out the block. Probably, with yeah, you because you're a musical <laughs> theater <laughs> yeah. person. Which is Fiona has established. Oh, I have an audition next week. Mm, oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I always, I always like, I like to think about if we were all the same age and we all went to like the same high school, would we be friends? No, like, who I, would be you friends? would hate me, Fiona. No, well, because well, we were doing, sure. I wouldn't hate you, but if you were doing the thing where it's like you were being dramatic right next to me, I would be like, stop. Well, no, Fiona, Fiona we've just we've we've established <laughs> that like Lindsay is a reformed high school bully right well no i wasn't a high school bully and people say that before i've said many times i'm an elementary school bully elementary school was like you are uh, a child who clearly has anger issues and doesn't know how to deal with that and the middle school was like all right we'll chill the hell out high school was like uh, i guess good christian Lindsay mixed yeah. with like lincoln park rebellious Lindsay. oh maybe i would have gotten polarizing. along with Lindsay in high school <laughs> but the thing is, we talked about that. Like Jeremy and I, I think we'd be friends because while I did do that at school, I was the asshole. Was like, yo, let's fight. Like, I want to fight my friends right yeah. now. Like, let's throw down. Let's let's prank somebody. Let's do it. And yeah. like, I feel like Jeremy's that person. Yeah, maybe not. I, no, I was. I stabbed a can of Axe, the spray Axe, and threw it in my friend's locker. God, oh, I, 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 I did not it hear. Stunk up half the school. Why are you guys going with so kid? mean? Like, it was funny. Like, what the Fuck! Like, <laughs> dude, the entire was, science hallway in weird. Burlington High School smelled like axe. Bro, I was not at all a bully, but I didn't mind if pretty girls were bullying me. I'd be like, okay. At least you're, <laughs> at least you're giving me attention. I like this attention. No, no, no. Yep, exactly. like this After attention. elementary school, it was absolute flip of like, okay, now Lindsay, you're the. I mean, I was a loser when I was bullied too in elementary school, but extra like, no, you're you're the recipient of the bullying. Right. Now. And I went. Okay. I wasn't. Um. <laughs> I wasn't necessarily anything really, but I, I mean, I definitely didn't have friends. That's I, I knew that. But um, it was more so like I played a lot of sports. So people would think I was like that kind of jock. But you know how you think jocks are like these popular fuck boy dudes and stuff. I was not that. Um, <laughs> you weren't a I think it doesn't dude? work. No. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I was just like confused because it's like that's what you would expect. I guess for dudes who are jocks that's what happens to them when you're a girl and you're a jock you don't have friends uh so i feel like i can see what you're saying i know what you're saying I, I, i'm not saying I it's had right a lot of friends but i know what you're saying because they were cooler with me like fisticuffing them like a lot right. of i guess unfortunately so stereotypically, a lot of girls i hung out with were like whoa like chill out and dudes were like yo let's fight like i don't give a fuck i'm like all right cool. yeah or whatever yeah yeah dead like yeah, you're right, yeah. Fiona. It was I it was kind of like, hey, that's the guy who's like really, you know, yeah, he's the captain cool of the football dude, team. There's the, like, and I, you the, know, I was you know, captain. That's the cool guy. And I was but captain, then, but I'm like, I didn't have no one. That's was the like, girl that's good at sports. Right. That's what it yeah. was. Right. Like, oh, that's the no, sports girl. No, you're girl. totally right. right. And that's then yeah, there's the sports guy. Chick. He's cool. Yeah, sports chick. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Yeah. You're and right. It's weird. Because I was like, I I expected. I was like, oh, you know, I'm I'm captain of the volleyball team. You know, I'm captain doing track and shit. And it's just like, or captain of basketball, uh, my basketball team. And I'm like, damn, I really got no friends. That's crazy. Aww. But not yeah, even on the team. Well, Fiona, you not even the team. Now. Okay, so, I had friends. You have friends and family. Okay, now. it's weird because in basketball, I had friends of sort of like I would have friends in the basketball team, but for volleyball, those were the mean girls. So they wouldn't talk to me a lot. And I remember the coach was like, what, like, what's so weird? Why aren't you guys talking to Fiona? It's like, and they were, their excuse was like, we just don't know her for the long. And I've been there for like a minute too. And, um, <laughs> 
But I don't know. Yeah, I just I couldn't. Oh, I wish I couldn't say that I knew Mean Girls in volleyball. But yeah, unfortunately, oh no, they I were terribly mean. Of... They were not nice, and uh... they did not like when I was captain. And this is again <laughs> very stereotypical. This is very broad label here. I'm not trying to generalize, but, but she's going if we to. had to, I will right now. In fact, for the sake of comedy, um, <laughs> if we had to put like. A sporty mean girl into a category it's totally volleyball and i don't bro, know what it is I don't like know that's what's that's wrong. the sport why is it yeah. that because i did so i did high school volleyball but i also went to like camp i went to like a college vo college volleyball was the worst they're intense i, intense. Like, I did that too why? yeah i tried out for rice university and ut volleyball didn't make I it did, i did i did i did marist marist is in uh up upstate new york but i did marist volleyball and i was like why are you guys so mean to me what's going mm -hmm. on and it's also because they all know each other so it's worse. it's a weird the weirdest like mean girl moments i've had though was gymnastics and like oh, I uh, jeremy i don't know if you had some that. experiences being a dude stereotypically in gymnastics but like i knew so many girls where it was like it was almost like cheerleading where like by the age of 10 your parents knew if you were going to be like a professional cheerleader right. or whatever right. and they would pump money into it and just like that was your whole life is doing this forever and ever and ever mm -hmm. and unfortunately because of that as a kid like that's your mentality of like this is what i'm meant to do and this is my destiny so they kind of were like shitty to other people and they're like i'm the gymnast like i'm the you know i'm, um, I'm, I'm gonna be the next thing oh, i know man. exactly what you're talking about yeah we were lucky well okay so there was a there was a guy on our gymnastics team that was like that he was like private school gymnastics like mm -hmm. outside of high school and so on the team he was fucking amazing and like every single uh event like he was the best at it he was always like the final one up when we did the rotations you know and stuff and uh and he and like he was not that bad of a guy he was kind of quiet but you know he wasn't really that bad of a guy but i i learned like a little bit in the gymnastics that he when he was younger used to bully cat right what? and what? like that really? made a whole oh, thing shit. that was a whole thing oh, of like shit. oh no i was like Ooh, about and, that. and like so I didn't talk to him very much, um, but like I, I got lucky. Uh, the, my gymnastics team, like pretty much everyone on that team, was just like really nice. The cat loves like everyone that was on the team except that one guy. But like, because she would just come and hang out with all of us, and like you know we'd go out and and just have fun like after the meets like, and stuff. I, do guys like? Dude. I'm sure it's harder for girls. I'm sure it is. I, like I don't know. I just never. I remember just the guys never having problems with other dudes. I'm, I mean, like, I'm like, sure I there are cases. What. They're probably, sure there are cases, but it was probably you know, but... stupid, and it was just like it didn't really make any sense. And it was like, <laughs> if one guy just said sorry, then it would have been, you know, that would have so, been the end of it. I, I I have like I feel like the opposite experience from like a lot of people, which is like you really? know, so many people talk about like high school was like really hard, and like people got made fun of in high school, and everyone was like super mean in high school. For me, it was like, oh no, I was like like relentlessly bullied my entire life throughout all of like elementary and most of middle school was it like it girls? actually no i mean it was everyone <laughs> oh, so Christ. i was i was um love my mom to death if there's anyone in this world who could actually kill someone with kindness it would be my mother uh -huh. um but so she kind of just like raised me in an unrealistic environment uh which right. then didn't really prepare me for like the real world and like interacting with people anyway uh so yeah it got really bad i actually had to leave public school uh halfway through fifth grade um uh, because i was bullied so much and then also i had the worst teacher in the entire world and she's a fucking monster um uh, and she would uh, literally like publicly just like pick on me and shame me in front of the class it was also, great so what is it about fifth grade uh, teachers that are bullies yeah. but anyways go ahead um, yeah, yeah. so i ended I don't up know what it is. getting pulled yeah. out of public school because it was so bad and then went to private school for the second half of fifth sixth and seventh and then i was just like begging my mom to go back to like go back to public school yeah because so then right, eighth grade is not better yeah so like eight, eight it's, yeah. yeah yeah well like i guess like from you know like all sides, your friends are yeah. in public school and like in their neighborhood and like you want to be a right, part of that okay, and it's weird right. if you're not there like you know uh and so i got into some fights in, some, in eighth grade uh and that was the first time i discovered that weird like male bro moment of like when you and someone else like beat the ever-living fuck out of each other and then afterwards somehow you're like respect and become yes, friends it's it is yeah. it's um, in a no, 100% 100% anime yeah. is two dudes fighting each other and going i hate you but we're best friends that's yeah, what high school I, is <laughs> i had this dude that's that was it. just like just when i went back to public school in eighth grade he was just like relentlessly just like giving me shit and we had this moment where 
our English, we were in the English English class together and our English teacher was late. I don't know what the fuck she was doing, but we're all like stuck outside her classroom, like waiting for her to show up. And he was like giving me shit and he pushed me and then I just like hit him in the face and we literally just like beat the hell out of each other in front of all the rest of the class. Mm-hmm. And then like, and then afterwards we both, you know, we were like, Ugh, you know, and he's just like, Hey man, I was like, yeah, dude. Like, I don't. It was the weirdest thing. (laughs) Like, probably the most macho male moment of my life. Where we both just kind of like, okay, and then we're like, are we friends now? And and then we started hanging out. And he's the dude who introduced me to anime of all things. Um, fuck again. He knew weird. that's anime trope yeah, right. 101. Yeah. I don't, yes, I don't that's know. a shonen that makes no in a nutshell. But me. Jesus, no. Christ. So that was the start, and so then it was like, then I got into high school, and this is also also when like when it wasn't just like like I could choose like what I wanted to like do with my appearance. Like I was like, Oh, I want to get contacts. Like I want to like fuck with my hair and like bleach it or do whatever. And like, you know, like, and I don't know. I just, and then I found punk, which was like huge thing. Um, because like for me, like punk was about acceptance um, and about just like, you know, like if you go to a punk show, this is I've always like to talk about like if, there's a big difference between going to like a punk show and a metal show where it's like if a metal show, like you're in the pit and like somebody falls down, like people will kick the fuck out of you. If you're in a punk pit, yep. for the most part, most punk bands, uh, like people will pick you up. Right. Yep. And there's something about this, just like this acceptance. Chad, you're totally correct. <laughs> and yeah. like, Especially a true. death metal show. God yeah. help you if you fall in oh, that you, mosh yeah, pit. Yeah. And, that, <laughs> and that was huge for me because like being made fun of and like just having like such a fucking terrible like school childhood. Um, when I found that identity and I was just like, oh, fuck everybody else and what they right. think. Like, I don't give a shit. And then it's like that power of that made it was like high school is great for me because like I like, I, you know, I made a bunch of friends that were like like minded. We got into punk. I started mm-hmm. a band. We were all like skating together. And like it was like I had a great high school experience. And I actually there was a lot of jocks, too, that like we still were just like it's also like this is the thing that I've learned. There are no like really like big clicks nowadays. Which is the strangest thing to me, because like I've talked to people who are cool, like no, like nerdy shit's cool, and like everybody's kind of like all into like comics and Marvel and whatever. That's interesting, yeah. right? And I'm like, that's so weird, because like in my day, it was like, you know, this this guy's a fucking You're jock. Fucked. This yeah. dude's oh, like, yeah. this, oh my these God. people are goth. These people are punk. Are you kidding me? From your aspect too, like I totally relate, but especially as a woman, where I was like, I love video games. Like, okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Lady. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Yeah. yeah but, um, but that was that was huge for me because like even then it was just like I just generally like followed the rule. Like I like I said, I really got into punk and I love a lot of stuff, especially like bad religion. And like uh it, it just like gave me this mentality. It was just like, oh cool, like fuck what everybody else thinks, but like I'll just generally be cool to people. And if they're cool to me, great, regardless of whatever they believe, then we're good. But if they're not, then fuck them. Um Hell yeah. oh, I don't know. People so, kids are crazy. No, these kids I have to ask. ass whooping like a hundred. Well, Fiona, yes. Growing up, I had the weird flip, kind of like what Chad is experiencing. Where like stereotypically, we're told that women are more like catty. I disagree. But growing up, like my friends, we never had dramatic incidences like ever. So then when I went to college and people were a little bit like drama oriented or like mm-hmm. kind of like combative, I was like, what is this? What is this? What's happening right now? Like, this is not real friendship. I don't right. know what's going on. So right. did you have that in high school or no? Uh, don't. I, 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 again, like my experiences with high school was not great. Uh, didn't like it. I had like, I just, it was not great. And um, they were, I wasn't getting bullied per se, but I just, I just didn't fuck with a lot of those people. And um. Going into college, that's the weird part for me is I didn't really have a good college experience either because I, I like I started the college experience with a, a surgery on my hip. So I was like basically oh, a handicapped girl. Like, so I couldn't damn. go to things. So it was just like and then I didn't really finish college and I came here. So it's been a weird <laughs> thing for me. You know, like I was supposed to graduate two years ago, but here I am. Um so it's been a Did weird... you go to a college party at all or no? No. Okay, also, I'll tell you what it's like. It's weird you get really York. drunk and really scared and confused and you go, I'm going to go home. And that's... Yeah, I'll be honest. It. Like, I think that's, I have the, the best happens. parties. The best parties I've had were here. And honestly, it's that in New York, it's it's not fun either. Like in the city, like in Manhattan, you can't, it's not like the suburb kind of college, you know, where you have like a campus and stuff. Like you're just on 28th Street. Next, Jeremy next, mentioned that. I mean, you, the- Jeremy had the college experience kind of like I did at UT, but Jeremy can speak more to that. Did you feel like you had like we talked about how like it's sold to us as an experience that's like animalistic and you have fun, you go crazy, you try whatever the hell you want to do. But leaving college, I'm like, I feel like I didn't experience so much of that. Like, <laughs> I, I wasted it. Out. I wasted yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Well, yeah. weren't you like married by that time? Pretty much. Uh, I, yeah. 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 yeah I, yeah, I feel like was. you were. Uh, in... Well, yeah, I mean, Jared I was... and I are in very similar boats in that regard. Cause like, I'm like the high school sweetheart type yeah. thing. Yeah. I was already several years into a relationship, but I feel like I wasted it. I should have like done crack and fucked the dude, but yeah. I didn't do anything. <laughs> no, no, no. I wasted valid. college, I man. Oh, that's a good time for the lights to come yeah. up. That's probably a fair. That's probably <laughs> fine. <laughs> I love that we're you about know, to get into I this understand. deep story, yeah. but then broadcast clearly wants to end on. I should have yeah. been cracked. Jeremy, I feel you. Uh, don't let your homophobic roommates stop you from experimenting. My roommate, my you roommate you. was gay. I had a gay roommate, okay, good, okay. and he you was awesome. Have your dick sucked, and you know what? And if I you, tell people all the time. And if you did, and if you did, Jeremy, I won't say. It. I don't. I no, I didn't. It. I didn't. I wasted Listen, it. Jeremy, and, it's fine. Yeah, you know, Jeremy, I feel you. Not that I'm saying you would have if you're watching. Uh, Matt, his name was Matt. Uh, Matt Bragg. You know. No, it wasn't Matt Bragg. But uh, if you're watching, still love you. You're awesome. But like our our room was amazing too because half of the room was all of my stuff. So it was like the Who's Line DVDs and then posters of like Spider Man and Transformers and like all the stuff on the wall. And then his was like there was a Little Mermaid poster and he was big oh. into he was big into Sailor Moon. So there was all the Sailor oh, Moon so pictures. Yes. Um, it was his favorite senshi. I don't know what that means. It's just one of the sailors. The, sailors, the scouts. The scouts. I, don't say, I don't know. I don't know. A moon, I guess. The one with, the main one. Yeah, but the main I, one, if, yeah. So okay, I would sit I hope and I'd it's watch. It's Mercury or Jupiter. We'd like okay. switch off who got to watch stuff on the TV because there's one TV in the room. So I'd watch who's, I put whose line on and I'd watch that for a while. And then he would put on an anime. I think it was called, it was uh, something with a bride. It was like brought peach. I don't know. It was That's brought so, like oh, oh, wedding peach. Wedding, wedding peach. peach. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wedding yeah. peach. I know what yeah. that is. I got I you. Know what he would watch is. wedding peach. Woo, that's that a good is show. So yeah, funny. And, and so he'd have that on, or he'd watch Veronica Mars. He watched a lot of Veronica, which I was oh, fine with. Show. I thought so Veronica Mars funny. was fine, so I'd watch Veronica Mars. Okay. But, uh, well, yeah. that was great. That was good to know. That was good to know. All right. Well, hey guys, thanks for coming to the post show. We're ending. And uh, yeah. yeah, Jeremy's moved on to Fireball. It's over. And then there we go. Uh, it's done. It's done. All Jeremy right. playing Among Us tonight? No? Yes. No, no Among Us okay. tonight. Jack 2. I'm playing Stop tonight. Stop whitewashing me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, me too. Stop whitewashing me more. No.